Here we are at St. Anthony Falls. This is the actual falls. In front of us, that is the main spillway. It was built to protect the sandstone layer down below the falls from eroding. From this platform, we've got roughly 28 feet of drop from top to bottom. As the waters would go over the falls, it would eat away the sandstone layer on the underside and slowly move the falls further upstream. At the base of the falls, we've got a feature called Dragon's Teeth. It's a nice hydraulic obstacle for the water to hit and gives you that pluming cloud. These are just basically concrete polygons, trapezoidal in shape, about two and a half feet tall by maybe a three foot base. They help slow down the water and distribute it before it makes its way down the rest of the river at a much slower rate. So again, the idea is that it slows all this hydraulic energy as it drops down the falls. It's kind of a, an interesting hydraulic feature here too. As you can see at the upper end of the crest, we've got a couple of artificial water level points not being supported by any fixed feature. The first one on the left part of the screen is the crest in the shape of an OG curve. Um, that allows the water to break over. Everything to the right of that is then supported by the fact that there is slower water in front. The slower water below slows the water above it. It's kind of a interesting where you can see those ridges in the front is caused by the fact that the water can't escape down that spillway slope as quickly. So the water in front is nice and evenly distributed. It keeps the water in the top in those platform type level. As we'll turn around, we'll see another interesting feature. This is an old wasteway. This is what they would do with a lot of the water that they would use for industrial purposes, such as uh, grain milling, sawmills, lumber, uh, and power generation. This one is actually closed, and it looks kind of like a generic grass plain, but it's actually designed to carry quite a bit of water from the Mississippi for different uses on that industrial purpose. In front here, you'll see the actual pier gates that would control the flows going down to this wasteway. And here at their last stop at the St. Anthony Falls, we're overlooking the St. Anthony Falls Stream Flow Laboratory. Part of closing a lot of these old wasteways and sawmills, um, you can see on the west bank of the Mississippi some of the old mills and, and flour mills, the remains of the, the famous flour mill that exploded. A lot of stuff that is gone by the wayside from this era, and we're, we're still trying to find new uses for the different infrastructure that was built. In this live streamflow lab, you can see the different scientific experiments using the power of water we've harnessed to flow through these areas and create different unique riparian environments, wetland studies, maybe different plant understandings. It's a nice full circle to try and keep using some of this old infrastructure. The Stone Arch Bridge is out in front of us here. Um, be sure to check and watch our video as we cross that later today. I'd highly recommend it for anyone in the area to come check out St. Anthony Falls. It is a free attraction open to the public, excellent access to a wide range of activities, trails, um, culinary options along St. Anthony's Main Street. This is probably one of the closer features you can get to a hydroelectric power plant and spillway. Um, all of this massive uh, you know, nature of this infrastructure. A lot of times they keep you behind gates and fences and quite a bit further away. So we'd like to thank you for coming and checking out the falls with us.